Reading reshapes the brain and promotes social connections. Have you ever wondered what happens to your brain when you read? In an age where fewer people pick up books, new research sheds light on the unique brain structures that enable skilled reading and what we might lose if reading continues to decline. A recent study analyzed brain scans of over 1,000 participants and identified key differences in the brains of proficient readers. Two regions in the left hemisphere stood out. The anterior temporal lobe, which helps us assign meaning to words by connecting sensory and motor information, and Heschel's gyrus, the auditory cortex responsible for processing language sounds. Interestingly, skilled reading isn't just about visual recognition of letters. It's deeply tied to phonological awareness or the ability to map sounds to letters. The auditory cortex plays a critical role here, and its thickness in skilled readers highlights the importance of this region for decoding language. But brain structure is only part of the story. The brain is remarkably malleable. It adapts and reshapes itself with practice. Studies show that intensive language learning or regular reading can increase cortical thickness in language-related areas. So the more you read, the more you're actively shaping your brain. This raises an important question. What happens if reading becomes less common? Reading doesn't just help us process language. It enriches our ability to interpret the world and connect with others. By setting down a book, we might be setting aside essential cognitive and social skills. So next time you curl up with a good book, remember, it's not just for your mind, but for the evolution of human understanding itself. This video is based on the research paper, Heschel's Gyrus and the Temporal Pole, The Cortical Lateralization of Language, by Mikol Roll, in Neuroimage. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.